Things swimmers hate. Swimming is the hardest sport. Swimming's hard. Swimming is the hardest sport. Yeah. Swimming. Swimming's harder than hockey. This goes out to all, all everyone out there. Swimming's hard. Now, things swimmers hate. It's gonna sound like I hate swimming. I actually love it. I don't know what I would do without swimming. Number one, play swimming. When someone comes up to you, hey, yeah, so you play swimming, eh? No, 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 no. You play hockey. You, you play soccer. You play baseball. You play basketball. You don't play swimming. Swimming's a lifestyle. Swimming is an activity. Swimming's a lifestyle. You, you don't, you don't play it. It's, it's a life. It's, you, you do it. So number two kind of works its way with number one. It's kind of like what people say and stuff. It's, did you win? Did you win your swim meet? Like, fix your grammar. That doesn't even make any sense. Did you win? Like, there's standings. Like, did you come first? Did you did you come last? Like, you personally, unless you're like Michael Phelps or something, they're like winning every single event. You can't win swimming. Your team can win swimming. But me, I, I can't win swimming. And like, you, you can't win swimming. That really pisses me off. So number three is just like a casual thing, but I bet it annoys everyone. It's like the new cap. Long hair, so I have, kinda have to wear a cap now. I used to hate wearing caps. I used to have like long-ish hair, but still didn't really want to wear caps. But now I have to. Getting a new cap, putting it on for the first time is literally the worst. One time, I had a new cap that fell off four times during a practice. Just like, um, they smell weird, they, they slip off all over your head all the time, and when it slipped off four times during that practice, the coach came out, he's like, what is going on, bro? I said, coach, my cap's falling off. What do you want me to do? Goes to his office, comes out with like four or five caps, just kind of like throws them at me. Number four is the one I feel strongest about on this list. So I guess that means the one I hate the most. Things swimmers hate the most. If you're a swimmer, you hate this. And if you are okay with this, then you're not a swimmer. You, wrong sport, like wrong video. Get, get away from this video. Number four is jumping into the pool for the first time. Alarms up at 6 a.m., 5.30 a.m., I don't know, and then you're in a nice cozy bed, everything's telling you to stay in the bed, but you gotta get up, you gotta start grinding. So yeah, you're there, you, you get changed, you're on the pool deck, you gotta go on the red top or on the top or whatever, and you just, you look at the water. You stand there, you go back and forth, you think about it, you try and start a conversation with all the swimmers. You, you take your goggles off, your cap off, trying to like do things. You try and like start a conversation with your coach for a bit, do some stuff, but no. Worst part is getting in the water for the first time that morning. Once you're in the water, you're fine for the rest of the day. Even like second practice, you're fine. But the first time you jump in the water, worst part of any swimmer's day. Worst part about being a swimmer by far. Number five is probably one that like every swimmer agrees with as well, which is when another swimmer touches your feet. So you're swimming, having a good time, and you're supposed to go 10 seconds or five seconds or whatever apart. Now you get some kids who are like, no, I'm gonna go two seconds, one second, half a second right after you. And they sprint full out, touch your feet, and they just swim on your feet the entire time. And then it's like, no. So you stop at the wall and you say to them, you're like, do you wanna go ahead of me? But no, and they go like, now nah, I'm just chilling. No, you're not chilling. Like, there's 10 seconds apart, five seconds apart for a reason. You gotta chill here. Worst thing, one of the worst things. But low key, I do this sometimes too, just to annoy people. Number six, bad race. You know you had a bad race, whatever. Bad races happen all the time. You gotta learn to like, look past it, look at the next race, whatever, deal with it. But when someone comes up to you after a bad race, an awkward situation, people don't know what to do. And they say, good job. No, it wasn't a good job. Number seven is about normal people again. When they like always complain, like, oh, I'm so tired and everything. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I need to go to bed. Oh. And, but they haven't been up at 5.30 in the morning swimming. They haven't been at 6 in the morning in the weight room. They haven't, they don't go to a night practice swimming again then they don't have to start their homework eight o'clock at night when when do swimmers sleep when, why why are you so tired stop complaining number eight it just like annoys me it probably annoys other people too but like some people they just like they can chill behind the blocks but like behind the blocks before a race you're getting ready and someone just hey 
someone just starts a conversation with you. Like, no, I, I need to get in the zone. I got my headphones on, I need to get hyped up, you know, do the slaps, whatever. Some people are cool, they, like they just chill, they get up and they go on their race. No, I like, I like to get hyped up, I get to... It might annoy you, it might not. Like this video, subscribe. Number nine is pretty easy to explain, and that is the chlorine. The chlorine, like what can I say? Some pools are worse than others. The chlorine's gonna absorb into your skin, you're gonna smell like it everywhere. We were like, what's that smell? Sorry guys, it's me. I'll leave now, whatever. This one was probably one of the saddest moments I had this year at school. I just had my first year at university, I actually just finished. It was really, really stormy one night, like tons of snow, tons of rain, tons of ice. Universities don't usually get canceled. Our whole school was canceled that day. At 5.30 in the morning, whatever, got a text from coach. See you at the pool, School is can school's canceled. You want me? <laughs> The, the, the snow is like th this thick. I got it's a, it's a track. No, coach, let me go back to bed. It was really really sad. We're at number eleven, guys. Now <laughs> you, you probably think I hate swimming. No kick boards. So I'm no backstroker. I don't I don't I don't like the back. I don't kickboard nice. You get to chill, you know. Social kick, you know. Take your goggles and your cap off. Just chill with your friend, you know. Talk about life. No kickboard, you gotta like go on your back, like arms are tight. Nah, give me a kickboard coach. Number 12 is back to like what people say to you. So I've had this argument with people probably since grade five, probably since grade five when I started swimming and when like out school, whatever people are talking like, I'm from Canada, so like hockey is a really big thing. And like, so all my buddies played hockey, I swam and we got an argument, swimming isn't a real sport. And then it got into like, oh, hockey's harder than swimming. I was like, nah, swimming's harder than hockey. Back and forth, like, no, you don't know. You you don't know what the grind. You don't know what grind is until you swim. That's all I gotta say. Swimming is the hardest sport. Swimming's hard. Swimming is the hardest sport. Yep. Swimming. Swimming's harder than hockey. This goes out to all, all everyone out there. Swimming's hard. Number fifteen on the list of things swimmers hate is when someone asks you why. Are you always so tired, or why do you always act so tired? You try swimming. Number 16, just something that I do a lot, that annoys me when people say like, why do you never want to hang out and stuff like that? I'm just, I'm tired. This might just be like me because I'm lazy, or maybe because I'm grinding so hard swimming. Grinders, let's go. If you're, if you're a grinder and you're always grinding with the swimming, or just grinding in the gym, or whoever you are, give this video a thumbs up. We can, we can hang out later. I just, I want a nap. I want to sleep. There's nothing better than having a good nap in the day. That's the end of this video. Goodbye.